Hey, yo, this King Gurner coming to you live and direct. I want to speak on Frank Matthews today. And I don't know a lot about Frank Matthews, but I want to say this. He's probably one of the only individuals that got away from the government and was a black man and was successful at doing it. He probably was one of the only, when I say only, black men to have as much money as he had. He probably was one of the only black men to spread it around so equally and make sure that everybody had a big bank of a bro. That's how you got guys like Frank Lucas and Nicky Barnes for them to even be able to claim some type of honor. You know why? Because they had a person around them that was brilliant, that had intelligence, and his name was, again, Frank Matthews. We don't have too many Frank Matthews out here anymore. You know why? A lot of us want to run in front of each other. A lot of us is choosing to go in a negative way, period. A lot of them guys had businesses. Like if you look up Guy Fisher, Guy Fisher had a business. He was the first black person, I think, to open up the Apollo. That's heavy, man. You know what I mean? So when you hear about certain things that go on with these guys, you got to really pay attention. Some will say, oh, man, these stories old, blah, 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 blah. They're not old. They're frequent. This is why they're everywhere on Instagram. They're everywhere on YouTube because their story is still relevant. A lot of these rats that told in Philadelphia, they had no relevancy. The only one probably was Tommy Hill, and he was irrelevant to all communities, really. You see? When he was thorough, he was more of honor, and you could, yeah, 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 the boy from Philly, but not no more. He lost that when he became a rat. That's one thing I can honestly say about my city is that the rats, after they tell, they either, like, make it cool amongst the people they're with, or they get ghosts. And, like I said, they never had no real names. I don't know none of them that have a name that if I put them on my YouTube channel, they're going to get 100,000 likes or views and comments. Man, people are going to be like, who the hell is these individuals? You see? So it's not to say that it's not rash here in Philly because we all know that that's not true. I'm from Philly. This is why I speak on it because I know I've been under that type of situation where excuse me, somebody told on me. So at the end of the day, man, you know, we got to start waking up on a different level of thinking. Let's think about Frank Matthews. What would he say? You got to follow a guy like him because ain't no way. And if he did, he still was a bad man. Somebody would have told on him by now for him to, if he was, you know, on a run and still mixing and getting to an urn, eventually that had to stop. You see what I'm saying? And, then, and only God knows. And if it didn't, you know, whatever the case may be, but if it didn't, I tell all the youngins, like I said, we respect Frank Matthews and honor him getting away because he was a black man and he had money and he done the right things with his money and he helped other black people with his money. So when you hear me speak about good about it, a person, I'm not speaking about the violence part of it. I'm speaking about the fact that he did help out. A lot of people miss it because they look at me and say he got a beard, he dark skinned boy, he probably been through a lot or he might be still going through that stuff. Probably in the streets. No, it's not true. You can make up whatever you want to make up. But at the end of the day, I'm more of an individual that's focused on the youngest. And thus far, from the schools, from the people that I've you know, worked with, it works. It works beautifully. And this is why when I'm in the communities, the youngins specifically show me a lot of love because it's like they can't believe that it was me. So that's why when I speak on a the Wayne Perry's, and I say, man, he was an honorable man, because if you hear the man's talk, he's Muslim now, and his thing is that past life is not his life anymore. You know what I mean? It, everything is new. But let's imagine a Wayne Perry coming home and talking to the youngest and telling them not to do it. Imagine any of these dudes that done anything negative and really giving back and speaking on it. It can help them better, and it'll help me because people will begin to see it. Y'all think I'm the only one that's talking about these confidential informants? You got to remember CNN just done a big report on confidential informants. A very big report on confidential informants. Why? Because it was a young lady by the name of Rachel Hoffman. 
And I'll give you that on another channel. But for now, I just want for everybody to understand that what I'm giving you is something of good. What I'm giving your child is something of good. Make sure he watch these videos. It don't hurt for him to understand that that drug dealer is not the role model. It don't hurt for him to, to understand that. And it don't hurt for him to understand that some of the drug dealers, especially the ones that have a whole lot of cash, because the government ain't going to let them get so much money. How is he's become a billionaire and all this other nonsense? Those are the ones that you do not follow. Don't be blinded by the money. You might want to ask them if you around any of them, what makes you be so flashy and out in the front in these times after you've seen what happened to guys like Rich Porter and the Rat Alpo and all, and all these dudes, even Frank Matthews having to leave. But he's a prime example. Y'all People say, oh, no, he just left because he was running from the government. That man had enough money to leave away from the government. And nine times out of ten, he retired when he done that. So you got to honor and respect and have a lot, a lot, a lot of love for that individual. Because like I said, at a time when black people wasn't helping one another, he was doing that. Bottom line, King Erner, live and direct. Look up more about Frank Matthews' um, comments. Tell me more about him so I can get to know about him. Everybody think that I'm looking up this stuff and all. Oh, this is knowledge I already had. And I can just read. It's just that you're not able to bring it to the fourth like I do and let the children see that warning of not to do it. They see a rat, not to do it. They see a drug dealer, not to do it. But you can't put the drug dealer on the same level as a rat because the drug dealer, once he changes his life, he brings the youngins over in a positive way. That rat is going to nine times out of ten continue to keep doing the wrong the, the wrong thing.